Okay, we'll go ahead and get started with today's media availability. We are joined by the fastest driver of today's NASCAR Xfinity Series practice, Kyle Larson, driver of the number 17, HendrickCars.com Chevrolet. We'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Please state your name and affiliation, and we'll uh, get you a mic. Kevin Coble, Access Sacramento. Hey Kyle, so what's it like being in the Xfinity car and what's the difference being in the Xfinity car on this track and your cup car? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's fun to get out there and uh, get some more laps. Um, yeah, the next-gen cars are quite a bit different, so the braking zones are a little deeper in that. So, uh, And I haven't been on the track yet in that car this weekend, but just thinking about last year, it's you know, like into 11 is a little bit uh, longer of a zone in the Xfinity car, but um, and then obviously the transmission's different. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's more shifting maybe throughout a lap. I don't know. It seems that way anyways, um, in the Xfinity car, but, um, either way the, the car was, you know, fast and, uh, you know, hopefully is uh, fast tomorrow. Very good. What about tire wear? Yeah. Sonoma's always tough on tires. So, um, you try to manage them the best that you can, but, uh, it's really hard. Right, great. Thanks, Kyle. Okay. We'll come over here to Lee. Kyle, Lee Spencer, CatchFence.com. How do you think the um, lack of stage breaks is going to change the strategy for Sunday's race? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't talked to uh, my team yet um, about that, so I'm not really sure. I, I don't know. It seemed like a coda. You just you got to the end of the stage and then would pit, you know, the next lap after it. So um, I would assume maybe it's like that, but I just I, I don't know um, either. So I'm sure once Cliff gets to town, I'll talk to him more about it tomorrow morning and um, get an idea. All right. Any more questions? How would you um, kind of grade high limits so far? I mean, how do you think everything has gone? You know, with your first endeavor endeavor into managing a series. I think it's I think it's been good. Um, you know, we've obviously had a couple mistakes along the way, but um, you, you you learn from it, and you know, we're, we're really new. So I'm sure even the World Outlaws to this day make little mistakes that you don't notice, and, and some may be bigger than others. But, um, you know, it's been, it's been a fun kind of learning process, I think, for all of us. You know, um, Brad has uh, worked his butt off, and then when you have events go like Eagle did where you had a big crowd and a great race again, um, it's pretty rewarding. So um, it seems like competitors are happy, and... Um, it's been a lot of fun to compete in the races, too. Okay, we got another question right here. Go ahead. Elliot Stern, Sports Talk 805. So you're home. Uh, you'll have a huge family and friends contingent. Does that create any extra pressure or, or demands on your time, or is it just extra fun? Um, I wouldn't say I have any more family here than normal. Uh, you know, normal weekend, my parents will be here. Um, you know, maybe Caitlin's got some more family here, but, um, yeah, I mean, a few more friends and stuff, but it's, it's kind of fun. I, you spend the week or a longer week here than you typically would at a different track, you know, with it being basically just Napa Valley, it, you know, it's a, a beautiful place. So try to spend it as a vacation really and, uh, relax. So I've been looking forward to this week for a while and, um, I wouldn't say it adds any more pressure being at home. I think, if anything, it, it takes some off just because you get to enjoy the area, enjoy the nice food and, and great wine. All right. Any more questions for Kyle? One more here with Lee. Off week plans? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. Okay, Kyle. Appreciate you coming in. Thank Thanks. you.